Hello and welcome to the final part of my Civilization 5 series. I, I was playing at the Japanese Empire. What I'm going to do in this part, hopefully it'll be about 5 to 10 minutes long, I'm just going to recap everything that happened in the game from this map point of view. If you're the type of person who likes to jump to the last episode, then welcome to this video. Otherwise, there's a link in the description below that will bring you to the entire playlist, and you can start from the beginning. Within the next 10 seconds, there is going to be a spoiler of how I did in the series, so I do recommend you pause the video, stop the video, leave the video, and check out one of my one of the earlier episodes if you do want to watch the whole series. And also, I should mention, this is the Fox Populi mod, so it's not the standard Civilization 5 game, it's Fox Populi, and if you want more information about that, that's also in the description. You know what, on second thoughts, why spoil it? If you are here for the first time, um, you might as well watch through the whole way, not knowing how I'll get on. So let me press play here. We should, oh, I've already popped up here. So this is where I started. I believe I didn't start on turn one. I moved a little. You can see in the background, actually, where Kyoto is. There, there was citrus um, in abundance, so I didn't have a water tile, but I did have some nice tiles around me, citrus. I don't think I even had a river. But still, it was an okay start. I'd love to. I'd love to start in the same spot again, really, and give it a go. Okay, let's uh, skip on here. We'll talk about some of the people in our area. We have Assyria down here. They're going to become a big challenge to us. We also have. Um, I, I, I think this. Yeah, this is the Babylonians here, and this is the Iroquois up here. The Iroquois become very big. They do come all the way over. We'll see as it goes on, and. Um, on our left flank. We were friends the entire video, I seem to remember. And then we have uh, Ethiopia over here. They're going to be in our sphere of influence as well. And th who else is... Oh, this is it down here. It looks like just part of the map. But that's, J that's Germany, I should say. Now, I never really encountered all of this. I did get a boat over here now that I think about it. And I did... Oh, I'm already spoiling it from the sound of it. If I haven't seen the entire map. I, ha I certainly haven't won with a... Uh, Science victory, that's for sure. So I never got to this island with all the city-states on it. Not that I really interacted with city-states too well in this game. Okay, let's play it on a little. Let's see who starts getting multiple cities. Ethiopia just got one there. The Iroquois probably earlier. Babylonians. The Iroquois, I'm, I'm thinking of my next video is going to be playing as the Iroquois. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye on them a little how quickly they grow. Assyria here have, hasn't grown, and I do be very late growing, usually. I think I was concentrating on my military uh, to, to start off with, uh, to clear out with burying camps, stuff like that. So let's see how long it takes me. There's Assyria, um, and, wow, another Assyrian. They get cl quite close to me, so they, they have quite a tr train of um, city-states. And I think I might actually start a war quite soon. Um, I'll, I'll point out when and if I do. So you also have the Ethiopians there. The Babylonians are quite quick with four. Yeah, I think I have my eye on... Okay, no, it's no, not for another minute or two. Because I have my eye on a tile down here. Unfortunately, I can't move the background. That'd be nice. I don't have great editing skills. So we're stuck with this sort of uh, recap, I'm afraid. There was a um, natu natural wonder here. I can't remember which one. There was one. This city founded on one of them. And this city, and there was going to be another city down here that founds on one of them. So I thought I had a great start. Two natural wonders. Um, and I, I got my second city out pretty fast, relatively. This is on a fairly difficult level. You can see the Iroquois have already started surrounding the Babylonians. They have five cities out. Babylonians, four... Every, everyone else four, uh, well, sorry, Ethiopia four, Germans three, Assyria three. So it's around this time, I think I see a settler uh, starting from Assyria. I already have my settler out and he's ready to go. And um, would have been just before placing this city. I would have killed this settler, started a war, and and um, and founded this city. Something like that. I can't fully remember. You'll have to go back and check the records. It looks like Ethiopia uh, found there. This this was a massive, it looks like a small lake on the map. But it was a fairly massive sea. And I thought it might have been the sea for a long time. Um, and it's interesting now just to see, to confirm. I think I confirmed in the game. It's interesting to see that it was just an inland um, lake. Alright, let's play it on. Have, are we going to get any captures anytime soon? Let me see. I think we are. 
But first, let's point out the Iroquois. They have Babylonians fully surrounded. I think I'm going to get a founded city down here in a moment, just on this peninsula. It was a little cheeky. I was a bit worried about not annoying the Iroquois. As it turns out, maybe I would have been better off annoying them at this point. But uh, we'll see. Uh, there, there it goes. So I get my um, fourth city down there. It was another nice city. It gave me, it gave me access to Wales. Um, as I, on top of all the access to citrus I already had. So I thought I was going to have a nice, a nice science production. But I never really got my economy off the ground, Stuart. I was always involved in wars. Like, at the moment, I'm still involved with a war with Assyria here. I think I might peace out at one stage, but then get right back into it. Because I really want this city. Uh, this city here is... You can't see on this map, but it's blocked access to a lot of tiles for me. It's stolen some of my citrus. It's cutting off access to my other city, or at least it's about to. It's, al it's also stolen um, whales that I feel are rightly mine, although I think they had them <laughs> well before I did. But, you know, this is the mindset of a power monger, that we, we assume everything is rightly, rightly ours. Um, so let's uh, stay going. Expect this city to go red. It's an unfortunate color uh, coordination. It took a while, but there we go. Now, what's happening in the rest of the world? Ethiopia have a nice strong base. Germany has... Um, Again, nice solid base. Nobody seems to have stolen much land from each other. The Babylonians, five, five well-spaced cities. It looks like a five-sided dice. But they've gone and got themselves fully surrounded by the Iroquois. The Iroquois have uh, a massive amount. Let's see, four, uh, four, six, eight. Eight cities already. I think that's easily in the lead. Can we go to ranking uh, without losing? Yeah, I'll try it out. And if I lose, um, I can just edit out... The time it takes me to get back to map if it doesn't work out so let's see uh, no this just gives me my ranking at the end of the game now when you leave the map screen and come back you lose all your progress so i had to find where we were again let's play it on we've just taken this assyrian city and we kept the war going uh, yeah there we just took it already so we kept the war going we took this other city we had um, a nice a nice solid base here i felt this city was a little isolated but luckily we were quite friendly with the Iroquois. Although I was always concerned about him. Um, as it turns out, I don't think I ever needed to be. Uh, the Iroquois never invaded us because we were never powerful enough, I don't think. So we're sitting here with our six cities. Uh, Syria, well broken. They've lost what I believe was maybe their capital. I'm not sure. I Definitely it was a holy city the first place we took. But no, it wasn't the capital. The capital was all the way down here. So I guess we never took that, but still, they were well and truly beaten for the rest of the game. I believe they were even our vassal. I think, um, not yet, I think they got into a war with the Germans, and they just asked us to become their vassal, just for an extra bit of protection to them. Which we were happy to take, I taxed them for the rest of the game. Now, I'm not really quite sure what else is going to happen with the map that's too spectacular. You can see there we took uh, the Ethiopian city. We declared war. I needed to keep this war train going. It was a, I'm on a faster setting than I'm used to. Although, in my next video, I'm going to go even faster just to try it out. So I'm on a faster setting, and I knew I had to stay war. I knew I had to stay fighting. It's where I got lots of my bonuses from. I think that was probably my big mistake in this series. I think attacking this city now, or maybe um, not taking a break after attacking it, but I did have samurai, I felt I needed to use them, but my economy was still crap. I had no trading um, units, I just didn't have time to build them. But, you know, now as well as I think about I took this city, and I'm going I'm to peace out with the Ethiopians at this point, because it wasn't easy, there was a mountain range here in the way, it wasn't easy to get to these uh, cities here. So, but the other option I think I could have done was, after piecing out, just turn straight around. I had samurais, I was on a high, I, my military had lots of experience. Again, that's something I didn't micromanage quite enough. I, I think I needed to use my promotions a little smarter. Again, as Japan, I get promotions very quickly, and I should have used them much more tactically and strategically. I could have turned around, and I think... Punched uh, the Iroquois in the face. I don't, I don't know if I could have defeated them. But this was wide open territory here. I could have planned all my units. I could have killed units after wave after wave of units before taking this city. Then this city. 
And this city-state would lock them up a little bit, along with the Babylonians. They would have been actually locked up, a little isolated they were. That would have hurt them just enough, giving me enough of an economic base um, to win this game, which finally I got to the spoiler. I did not. I did not win this game. But I think that's a big mistake I made. So what I actually did is I consolidated. I waited a few turns, built up my economy. Um, I probably could have waited even more. That would, have been, that would have been another interesting option. I didn't have a terrible economy. I had many good cities. I, I don't think I could even point to a city that wasn't top class city. Maybe this one, but even that, it gave me uh, like five or six resources. Um, and also it was those resources fit quite nicely with, with everything. So I think it could have been an option just to bunker down for 50 turns or so, build my economy up. I, I, I probably lost my advantage of Samurai right, right around now. And something I didn't think through, because I had my eyes set on the Ethiopians. You can see I just took a, a city-state off them. I had my eyes set on the Ethiopians. I didn't take into account that they had their special unit coming online. I think they're called the Medal Sharif, something like that. So in another 20 turns or so, when I get, when I get around to them, they have, they're covered with their special units. That's troublesome to me. So we're in a peace deal, and I decided to take these city-states. I at least took one here. It went well. I'm, I'm weakening Ethiopia at this point. But then I got cocky. I took a second. It'll take a little while, I think. And I thought to myself, you know, I have to take the uh, Ethiopians. They're still too powerful. Sure, I'd weaken them a good bit by taking these city-states, but they were still a little too powerful to leave alive there. These city-states would have fallen way too quickly with the, the surround they have on me here. So I needed to take this city and this city. Their capital here, I wanted I wanted their natural wonders as well, I have to say. Their capital here was surrounded by mountains and water. So it was going to be extremely difficult for me to get to. But I definitely felt I could have taken these two cities out and kept myself safe. There's water here between these two dots. So... I would have felt extremely safe after taking this. And I, I was t considering trying to take capital again for the wonders. It, was, it all would have come down to how many wonders were in these two cities. And um, the plan was then to turn around on the airplane. I'm going to be talking a lot about the plan at this point. Because this is where the plan goes wrong. Um, I declare war. And uh, they're tougher than I expect. I, I kill a couple of you. Well, I have... Uh, I slog through their specialist unit. He has so much defense against their uh, range units. I have some very highly trained melee units in my samurai at this point. And they are enough to kill one or two waves. But I come up against a ridge of, of just hills in front of this city. And it's enough to really hurt. And then my naval units were non-existent. I, uh, I didn't really have a city. My capital city where I was building troops was landlocked. So I wasn't building uh, naval ships. I was expecting to hope. I was hoping to buy naval ships from my my secondary city here, uh, but I never got the economy. I never had the money really to do it. So I was working with about three ships up here, and sailing around the Cape here, I find, um, I find more ships that were also technological technological level above me. Ethiopia was running about five or six technologies ahead of me the whole game. So they had the ironclads versus my, I believe they're not carnivals, I'm not sure what they are, but the one below ironclads, and it was quite telling. I got my uh, I got my navy killed very quickly. They captured the city, they returned it to the city state. This it still wasn't a full disaster. I kept my army mostly intact. I lost a few units. I kept most of the highly uh, trained units. I had a nice base going on here, a nice uh, defense going on. I had range units behind it. All the while, I was getting more and more experience. I, I felt I could have just uh, bled his army dry. They would have just died over and over. But the Navy, the Navy is what killed me. They they took this city and the, they rounded on this one. That's a roundabout where I threw the towel in. That's uh, go all the way to the last tile. This city had a, a massive Navy outside it. This city had a pretty big Navy around it. They managed to land troops around it. I was just falling. This, th these two cities were both going to fall within the next few turns, at which, at which point I could have probably taken them back. I might have been able to beat them down with some uh, good tactical movements of my troops that were left. 
but it would have cost me too much time. All the while, the Iroquois were just getting uh, more and more technologically ahead of me. And they were a little behind Ethiopia at this point. They have a massive amount of cities. They have a massive army. Uh, they would have either killed Babylonians or me. I It was time to call it quits. So that's what I did. And um, I'm uh, so disappointed. I, I must keep a safe state even and go back to it. I think uh, let's go back to a time. I think here I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Maybe I should have uh, taken more time to work on my economy at this point. This is where I'd probably go back to. I'd work on my economy and see what I could do. If that failed, I'd probably come back to this point again. I'd, I'd, well, maybe I'd go to this point. I'd take over the first Ethiopian city and I'd turn straight around and try and attack the Iroquois. Yeah, I might do that off camera. I might do that on my own time and just see how those safe states rid me. See if I have safe states near enough those points. I think it'd be fun. Okay, if you enjoyed this recap, please put a like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Every I, I update a video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. My next series, um, I'm nearly sure at this point, it's going to be the Iroquois. I'm going to be a faster uh, time level. Uh, it's going to be the same size map. How many cities were, how many civs were this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six civs, whatever that one is. Um, and yeah, it should be interesting. I've never played on such a short time frame before. So it's going to be interesting, and it's been a long while since I've played with the Iroquois. So hopefully you'll tune in um, and join me on that journey. And until next time, have a good one.